You just always been a tight and rushed I've been laid back, yeah I don't wanna skip steps, you know that So if you're with it, then say yeah I just need a little bit of patience You need me, I know that you've been waiting Down my number twice, promise I'll pick up the line I see you worried, don't gotta ask why You like it, I know that you like it You like it, yeah, you like it Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel in 2024. So I'm actually um, starting off with things of the past um, because I didn't finish my series, but I promise you I will finish this Zodiac series. And why not kick off 2024 with my Zodiac sign, which is Scorpio. I just so happen to have this video edited and I really just need to get it out <laughs> um, and clear some other things out. I do have a PR video coming up next, hopefully here soon when I get that edited. Um, I did mention PR, but anyway, um, <laughs> I couldn't help this PR. I'm really excited about it, but I also wanted to share a couple of new things I got. So one of the newer things that I bought was this, uh, nude from RAR JSM and Nail Slayed by Val is always constantly recommending these nudes and I can see why they're so creamy and streak free. Like sometimes you get some jelly nudes that are pretty streaky and it just kind of leaves a bleh bad taste. <laughs> um, but I did three coats of this and I really wasn't sure what I really wanted to do or what, um, I knew what direction that I wanted to head, um, for this, but I wasn't sure like what I was going to completely do. So I started off with this first nail and I got this chrome powder off of Timu and I did not use top coat initially. So it looks a little grainy, right? And I was like, well, maybe I'll like it when I put top coat over it. And this is the focus nail. So I was like, I don't know. <laughs> so I did go ahead and, and put my top coat on. Um, I already prepped all my press ons and did all my fun stuff. These are McCart pump ups and I love this shape, the XXL stiletto. And you know, I'm here for that sexy shape. <laughs> um, it is one of my favorites next to coffin and, um, tapered square. Like, yeah. Definitely love this, but <laughs> definitely love the shape. And they're just very sturdy and they just, they just fit your natural nail bed so well. Um, they do have a little bit of a higher apex, but they're really, really nice and definitely sculpted out like to where it's not too bulky and things like that. Um, but as you can see, I did go ahead and top coat and then I did another layer of the chrome powder and then I top coated it again. And then um, I always do one hand first to see what I want to go with and eventually what I end up with. And then I show you guys um, what I did on the other hand um, with the other nails, or, you know, for the between left and right. So what I did is I've been seeing this design float around Instagram multiple times, like everywhere. And I really fell in love with it. Um, this is one of those trends where I'm like, I feel like it's not really trending, but it should be because it's just so adorable. Like I cannot get over this design. So um, I kind of took the idea, like, you know how people do like the A-shaped Frenchies where they go and they make kind of like I'm doing right now, like the little V and then they make a little line across where they want their Frenchie to start. And so I, I did that um, with this circle design. <laughs> and uh, I, I just feel like it just is so cute. It's just so adorable. So after I have my lines like in the center of where my other circles were on the other nail, I wanted to get them as close as possible. Uh, then I go in with a little bit of a thicker line and go from sidewall to sidewall. And then I start rounding everything out. This is probably the longest part of my video and the most detail that I show you because after this, there really isn't much to it. Um, I did the rest of the nails with only two Two circles and then I painted in the V at the bottom. Um, I really, I don't know how to explain how much I enjoy this, this design, but it's so, so cute to me. You can see I messed up here. My brush decided to go willy nilly and really irritated me, but I will clean that up. <laughs> um, I am not perfect by any means, but I am a perfectionist when it comes to my work. I don't like things that are bubbled up. I don't like things that are, um, don't, 
look like if you put them on your natural nail they're just going to look not nice i know this set would look way better um on me but i did not do or take a shot of them on me because i have nails on right now um so yeah i either way um i just really really enjoyed this set and i'm just absolutely loving it like i just can't get over it <laughs> Uh, but this was kind of the most tedious part. So in order to make the circles, um, you can see I just kind of rounded out. I took those lines similar to doing a Frenchie um, and I took that middle line and I just kind of drew a line up and then I drew a line down and started making that circular pattern. And then from there, I just perfected it. You know, of course, I want it to look round on the sides, but I didn't want the black to be too thick. Um, obviously, I wanted the purple to show through. So purple is my favorite color. So I just incorporated a lot of my favorite things into this set, uh, which is why I chose to go with the colors that I did. So the power color for Scorpio is black, <laughs> but I didn't want it to just be plain black. So for the rest of the nails, you can see I left that nude color underneath the circular design. And like I said, I painted it in and then I just started going in with my charms. At this point, I wasn't even sure what I wanted to do with the thumbnail, if I wanted to do the same design and so on and so forth. But I do go in with the three circles on the thumbnail as well. And then I actually kind of do like a V shape, like half circle, half V shape um, to follow the stiletto shape um, on the last, on that last little on the bottom one here that you'll see when I'm doing the charms. So um, I, like I said, I already did one hand. So now I'm doing this hand. And so I already know what size rhinestones I wanted and I had everything laid out. And so I just kind of wanted to include you in this process as well. And um, so, yeah, sorry. Um, work has just been really hectic and I really wanted to get this out actually before the year ended, but I had a lot of fun on New Year's Eve. I've met a really great group of people where I currently reside. Um, I've been in St. Louis for five years now and I just, for some reason, I feel like this year is it. Like this year I'm going to make it. I'm going to put more groundwork and more effort and focus more on the whole press on business thing and get everything rolling with that. I mean, it's definitely a goal. Like I'm already getting it started and I've got the groundwork and I've got a lot of things that I like, uh, but I just want to perfect it. I just really want to get it perfected so I can get going. But I also had to wait to post this video because I had to buy specific nail charms. <laughs> um, I had these little scorpions in gold. I also have the bigger scorpions and I just didn't like them. Um, it wasn't really going with the vibe, but then I was like, Ooh, I need these smaller ones. So I hopped on Amazon real quick, um, and purchased these rhinestones, or not these rhinestones, sorry, these charms, um, to put on this other finger that I'm showing you right here. Um, so that way I could somehow tie in Scorpio to the design. Uh, my little one ran off with my Scorpio words that I had laid out that I was actually going to put on my own birthday set. And she, um, I have no idea where they're at. So, um, they're probably in a toy box somewhere to be honest, um, or a trash can or whatever. So at this point I was like, you know, what? instead of purchasing those again, I'm going to buy these really cute little scorpions that fit perfectly. Um, right into this little area that I wanted them to similar to the clear rhinestones the clear rhinestones I got off of TikTok but this is what the extras are looking like so the extra hands are the extra nails that I do for a 20 piece set and I just love these like I know once I open up my Etsy shop and get everything posted these are probably going to be one of the first sets um, that go <laughs> because they're just so gorgeous. Like even if you're not a Scorpio, you just like scorpions. Like it's just so pretty and just so elegant. So I want to thank you all so much for bringing in 2024 with me and for being the best part of my channel. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of this year with me. I have some pretty cool ideas and crazy designs. So um, yeah, I definitely want to have some fun this year. So I will see you in my next video. You like it, you said that you were down